now. Where's my trusty steed, Bullseye? I have to ride off into the sunset. Oh! Ride like the wind, Bullseye! Ooh, ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Watch it. Wait, wait. I'm ticklish, okay? Oh, you are. No, 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 no. Cut it out. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, please. Please, no. No, no. Stop. Stop. Mission log. Have reached Zerg's command deck, but no sign of him or his wooden captive. That's Woody. Ow. This way. Buzz, can you see what's going on? Take that! I'm taking you! Don't to me. the left! You. No, your left! You're Take that higher! What's me. happening? Oh, it's it's horrible. They're, they're torturing him. Buzz! What are we gonna do, Buzz? Use your head. But I don't wanna use my head! Hey there everyone, thank you for watching Rad Random Gaming once again. Back to Toy Story 2, uh, Toy Story 2 on PlayStation 1. And hang on, gotta turn the joysticks on. I never remember that. And I already played through this level because I need to know where everything is. And because uh, I have no idea, like I don't even remember this level. Um, although, uh, like I say, this game feels like deja vu to me. Deja vu. I, I'm just not remembering. Also, this apartment. Which is where Owl lived in, in the game in the film. Looking nothing <laughs> it is the game and this looks nothing like his apartment from the film. But you know, this is this is the game, so it's gonna it's gonna vary slightly. So I pretty much know where everything is, how to do everything, where all the little critters are, the secret coin, the race, one thing or another. Well, um the time sort of race thing. Uh, you'll see what I mean you'll see what I mean as I'm going. And I hope to get this right. Um because otherwise right now I'd be I'd be running around for about an hour just getting annoyed and agitated thinking what the yeah, not getting it right and that, that would sort of get on my nerves so first thing I'm gonna do is grab the um, the ball shield the orb shield however you want to refer to this thing because it may come in use Ugh, if we can Ah, this worked last time. Ah, no, it's not working. Honestly, this worked last time. <laughs> like, no lie, no, no, no word of untruth. It worked last time. I don't know why it's not working now. Right, let's try this again. Actually, it worked the first time when I tried to do this. But then again, things never really play out the way they're supposed to when you do it like for the real time. Okay, come on. There you go, it's to get the life. Right there. Buzz now has one extra life. And right now you've got this annoying thing with these um these barbarian like cannons. But with this one you can pretty much like all of them if you can. Just stand right next to it. There's nothing it can do. It's got a minimum range, so it can't shoot you here. So that's good. But they've also got a um like how should I say their targeting system? is at one point they'll just pick where you are and fire they don't shoot where you're gonna be they'll shoot where you currently are so they're easy enough to avoid however that doesn't mean they're not gonna get on your nerves they've certainly got on mine and just with that in mind actually i'm just gonna quickly run over here just gonna feel more comfortable with the more health that buzz actually has so there you go there's a battery there there's also one on top of the tv here and I'll grab that. Oh yes, and one under the thing. The table. And I forgot about that one. So, but the one on top of the TV, I should be pretty much most, most health, which is which is great. So you jump up here. Uh, this is a tricky one, and also when the cannon just loves to shoot you. Um, so watch out for that. And then that happens, which is very annoying. Uh, okay, try this again. Hang on. Let's go back around a second time. Round two. Let me turn, rotate the screen. And there you, that's exactly what I'm talking about. The cannon 
I, can't, I mean, I know I should probably just jump, but I like to look where I'm going with the screen rotated in the direction I'm going. But that's not always so possible, you know? Right. This isn't going my way today, is it? Kind of like rushing it because... I don't know. Like, I need to like, relax, calm down, gamers, gamers zone, you know? Gamers zone. I'm in the zone, and it is my zone, and a very nice zone it is too. No pressure. There we go, but if I didn't jump, the cannon would have killed me. Oh no, it would have knocked me off again. Buzz. You are not a, you are not a flying toy, so just quit trying to do that. And get rid of these annoying snakes. Now you jump up the pole. Well, lampshade pole. However you want to refer to this thing. Get rid of the evil... Get rid of these evil flying creatures. They must be banished. Blasted birds. And... Now this uh, this is an important one, actually. Uh, to be honest... I'm probably just going to pick this thing up now. Actually, now, now I think about it. And this one you only need one jump for. And I got that wrong. So never mind. I'll come I'll come back and do that in a minute. I've got the laser. Come back and do that in a minute with a maybe a clearer mind or something. Oh, every gamer knows that you know you're not gonna get off my tail, are you? Go away. Evil birds must be banished. Now I'm gonna use the green laser, and you can do this without the green laser, as I did, because I didn't even know the green laser power up was there until I went up there and found it. Um, but obviously, it would be easier with the green laser power up uh, to beat the um, evil boss, like cowboy, in the um, the uh, the scene setting in the corner of the room here. So obviously, like with any boss battle, if you get this, you know. If you want to do it like this, then I say go ahead. Which is obviously, like I say, the easier way of doing it. Go away. So I'm hoping I will just avoid that snake, but evil slivering serpents. Oh, yes, one of the critters. Now you got to pick these up for Jesse. And here's the most satis one of the most satisfying things. Stomp on these red switches and boom goes the cannons. You can get rid of them permanently. That's it. They're gone. They don't come back. No time to lose. Which is great. Now I should be able to defeat, defeat the evil cowboy here. Shouldn't take too long. With the green laser power up, it just makes everything easier. I think in each shot does more damage. And obviously you're getting a much faster rate of fire. So defeat and... Uh, defeat the gunslinger boss to get a piece of puzzle. To get a puzzle. Uh, planet token. So... Straight away, just avoid the guy and just tear him to pieces with the laser if I can get the screen to look in the right direction. Which isn't always the easiest thing. Ooh. Ah. And down he goes. Now, that, that took me a lot longer last time because you haven't got the green laser. Well, I say a lot longer, not not too much longer, but you know, it took me longer. Um, take anyone longer, I guess, without the green laser power up because you're just not doing you're just not doing enough damage as as quick as the laser power up would would let you do. Ugh. Shut this thing up. They get on my nerves really quickly. Okay, so that's that done. And I probably could have just stayed up there. Never mind. Wherever you're finding green, wherever you're finding coins, is good because pick them all up for the pig. Uh, he always, you don't have to go to him first. You can just literally go there with coins, 50 coins, and that's it. The pig gives you a token. Evil Professor Porkchop. So that's easy enough. Uh, if I can get this one, I can never quite remember. There we go. Uh, so I'm thinking, I know there was something else over here. Wasn't there something else over here? Ah, oh, yes, that was right. Get rid of the Ufra. You're just gonna get on my nerves. Just your sheer presence antagonizes me, evil bird. Ah, Slivering Serpent. 
evil slivering serpent of Zerg. And you know, I've just realised. My laser goes on. I've just realised. Um, this isn't our buzz, is it? This isn't. This isn't the buzz from the movie, um, because based on the film right now, you would be playing as the deluded Buzz Lightyear, as Buzz himself originally was, thinking he is a galactic space ranger. So this this is the deluded Buzz Lightyear. Of course, it's the same thing. Ah, dumb TV. Of course, it's basically the same thing. You know, but you would, I suppose, at this point, be playing just based on the movie as the, uh, the deluded Buzz Lightyear. So I'm thinking that's all worth the thinking here. Pretty much got all the coins, pretty much done everything. No time um, to lose. I think that's it. I don't ever any really remember needing to jump up there, but I can't see anything, so never mind. I can just sort of drop that. And let's get out of here. Well, you need to take the box back with you. This is for the secret token. You can go away. Thank you. And push it back this way. Push it. Just literally follow the line. Push it back into the other room. And it will be the um, the train. Please go away. It yeah, basically, but it's, but it's actually weird. I mean. Know, our sleep with trains. I mean, you know, I think we can all like model trains. I like model trains myself. I, I have them myself. And um, if you want to see that, check out my YouTube videos on, on Hornby train sets. Um, which is just, I think, it's wicked. Um, I've actually been doing some work on those recently. Um, which is just really cool. Um, because I'm sure, you know, you don't necessarily need to really know in a sense just trust me when I say and a lot of people will know that pretty much anything model train wise including Hornby is very expensive very so if you can make something yourself build it yourself paint it yourself out of anything you can find I guess and you know it looks good it fits what you're trying to do it fits maybe the scene or the era you're trying to capture then that's great you've saved money wonderful now with this, you don't actually know about this until you speak to Rex. Um, so I'll go and speak to him after I've done this, but I just know how to do this already. So you stamp on that one first. And as long as the train, I'm hoping, comes back on this middle track, that's what you want. Because when it comes back on that track, you can push the box from the other side of here to, um, oh, it's not coming back on the middle track. Oh, is it? I've got no, I think I've got it right. Hang on. No, I haven't. Okay, let's have a look. What direction is it going? Okay, it's going this way. What if I can jump on top of the train? Let's go for a, you know, a good, good train choo choo ride. Choo choo Thomas. I don't know. Okay, got it. I feel like the important thing is from end to end. So whatever direction it's going to end up on here. Ooh. Right. Okay. So I don't even know. <laughs> to be honest, it's kind of. Oh wait, no. I think I've got that right actually. As long as it comes back on the outside track, I think it should be. Because then it has to become the middle track. Oh, hang on. If it's the outside track, because now they switch over here. You see, so it gets. It gets confused, and I think I just got this right by luck last time. And that thing's gonna really get on your nerves. It certainly gets on mine, and there isn't anything about it I like. There, you see, it's just it's just constantly an irritant. It is just a constant irritating pain in, you know what? And to try and resist harsh and bad language. So I know I've got that bit right, so hang on, let me, um, I need to think this through. <laughs> God, it just confuses me when they switch over. So you need it to be on this track. That probably helps if you follow the track, I'm finding that helpful. So imagine it coming on this track. And we're following it in the other direction, so it has to basically be on the middle one. Hmm. There we go. So it has to be on the middle one. So as long as it comes down this way, 
Yes, okay, that works. That works for me. But uh, something tells me it's not going to be on the right track here, is it? Because obviously this middle switch means a lot. No time to lose. Where is the train? Oh. Right, okay, I've actually gone and got it right. I didn't realise. I don't know, I didn't really think this through before I did this. I just, just went hitting switches. I just got it right by luck last time. I knew to get that switch in that position, and I don't know, maybe hope for the best. And that seems to have worked, so I'm fine with that. Didn't realize it was already done. Right, so now you push this box, get pushing, Buzzy, and it's kind of like I don't know. Um, well, yeah, it's got to push it a long way, really. Nothing too exciting, nothing too hard. I mean, Buzz is doing all the manual labour here. I mean, you just you don't do anything. And push again. Now, if you want to sort of just push with one stick, have something to eat or drink with the other, that's fine. That's probably what I'm going to do here. I have hot chocolate, so uh, give me a sec here. And I'm back. A good sip of hot chocolate and I keep pushing it this way and you don't necessarily have to push it anywhere specifically just as long as you're here and you can jump up and shut that damn cannon up there it is a constant irritating please go away you pain thing and there we go Get all the coins for the pig, only another 11, and the battery. Battery useful. Okay. So I think that's everything, and now we get out of here. Ah. And you got any coins? There you go, you got a coin. Okay, that's the end of them. Now, 40, uh, 40 coins, 10 left and needed. Make that nine, one behind the door. So that's that done, them two rooms cleared of coins and tokens. Um, now I said I'd come back here. Uh, this will be it now. So this is the um, time-like um, token you gotta get. Collect five horseshoes for um, the horse. In 26 seconds, I think he gives you. Uh, well, also within that time, you've got to bring them back to him. So, for a start, there's one here, and this is just the easiest way I found to do it. Just follow it round. Uh, there's one. And then you come round to this one. And one on the sofa. If I'm correct, the last one is under the table. Hang on, where did I, where was that, wait, no, was it on top of the table? It was on top of the table. Okay, I thought it was under the table. Okay, um, let's run at that one again, shall we? <laughs> okay, let's take this again. Thought it was under the table. I think I just wanted to be clever and just go under the table in a really quick fashion like that. But um, yeah. That's not where the horseshoe was. Although I think it's just a thing, isn't it? Like, because everything else is five. Like, there's five tokens. There's 50 coins for the pig. And pretty much everything else like this, there's five critter, critters to collect for Jesse. And he wants five horseshoes. He's only got four feet. Why does he need five? Um, the only thing I could come up with is that it's he might lose a horseshoe. And at the same time, I just think, no, no. No, you don't need five. You only need four. You don't need five, but we're not going to argue with the horse. He gives me a token, I'm happy with that. Now, I don't think there was a button to shut this cannon up. Um, I think that's it, really. Oh, and then you can't touch them as well. Only I could do that. Of all the space on that table, and I jump exactly where that's in. Now, I don't think... Um... Yeah, okay, uh, I'll go back up there and get it. Um just realised should be going this way. 
This is the way to go. Uh, jump. Get rid of the evil serpent of Zerg. Sends many evil slivering serpent agents after me to destroy me. And we jump. Buzz, stay on. Stay with me, Buzz. I don't get why that didn't kill you. I mean, I hit you good and hard with the stop. Next time, please just, just die. Evil bird will not take me down. Hang on, there we go. Oh, sorry, oh my god. How did that happen? I thought I jumped far enough. You gotta jump right from the edge. I tell you, I'm gonna. No, I don't. I don't. No, you can do two jumps. So you gotta jump from further back, though. So it's confusing. It's like you gotta get the right amount of jump from the right distance, and then after that, once you've got the first one, that's it. You don't need. You don't need to do a jump in the middle or anything. You just. You just keep swinging from one to the other. Make a final jump to the other level, level ledge or whatever. Hang on, I'm gonna do a double jump just in case. Okay, Buzz, come on now. And no jump. This, this kind of bothered me, because I was like, I don't think I'm going to make it. And there we go, right, there was a switch for that cannon. Thank you. Now, uh, this one, yeah, you kind of just double jump right on the edge as much as you can. You can see you only just about make that. Okay, that's for three critters. And I think that's everything in here, so... Right, yeah, next. Uh, let's make it the kitchen, shall we? Um, Rex, I've already spoke to you, but I, tell, I, said, I, did, I said I would, so... Just... there you go. Uh, he's in the bathroom, you can reach... okay. He doesn't, he doesn't say it this time. Okay, never mind. I don't know when he's going to say it. I might, I might come back and speak to him later. Get the snake. And here we go. First you blast the lock off the fridge. Coins always good. Four more. There's, all, there's, there's more than four left to collect. So getting the money for the pig really is no problem. Two more. Speak to Jesse. She'll just say about how she wants you to collect five critters, basically the rabbits that I've already collected. Uh, one more token left. Uh, oh, sorry, one more coin. Um, I can't remember, I know there was a reason to go over that way. Should probably do a double jump on that one. Stay. Oh. Evil snakes keep respawning. I destroy them for them for them to only come back. This isn't happening for me right now, is it? It's just not going to happen. Okay. No time to lose. There we go. Be gone with you, evil serpent. And again, standing close to the cannons is the only way they can't shoot. Well, so the only way. They don't track where you're going, they just track where you are. As long as you move, they can't get you. It's actually kind of funny to just stand next to it and it just looks at you and you're like, yeah, you can't get me here. And now I get to destroy you. Be gone with you, evil blasting weapon. Okay, now. This little uh this little level isn't big enough for the both of us, Snake. Be gone with you. Don't want to be in the way when my laser goes. And the other critter in the corner of the kitchen here. 
It's like collecting coins. I think it's just like a false habit now. Despite whether I've got 50 or not, I just, I just collect them. Okay, so that's the critter. That's all the coins. Uh, why do I feel like I'm missing something? I can't feel, I can't twig it. I feel like I'm missing something. I know sometimes you can come over here or if you want to. Don't know what it is I feel like I'm missing. I don't know, I suppose it's like to add difficulty. If you fall off this end, you've got to go all the way back over there. Maybe it's quicker, I don't know. Okay, now it's on to the bathroom. Which, as um, you could have probably seen when Rex said, it's to blast the lock. So Rex is kind of like the all-info character telling you how to do everything here. I just don't like you. Give it a big blast off. Okay. Uh, in we go. I'm just having to think about all the tokens. I think I've got them all so far. I should have three. I think I've got three. Um, defeated the boss. There's the pig. Thank you. And we keep playing. Now this is a weird one. And, you know just leave somewhat to think about with gaming logic because you fill up the bathroom with water but then everything out here seems to be dry. I, must, I don't know, I'm not saying it is or isn't, I don't know. But you, he won't let you go back out there to see. As soon as you step foot back in here while the, the bathrooms fill up, the water, comes, the water comes back down. So you can't actually get back out there to look. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to think. I got the secret token, I got the boss token, um, got the pig's token. No one missing something. I know I'm missing something. It's gonna bug me. I know I'm missing a token. I can't. I can't think of what it is. I know I've got the rabbit one. It's gonna bug me now. Can't think of what it is. Yeah, this one sort of can get annoying. You don't really realise you've got to jump perhaps from the right back of the way of the sponge here to sort of just then. I mean, to me, that was fair enough to just, you know, I mean, I was like a millimetre away, most probably. I'll bring the water level back down now so you can do that again. It gets and not this level gets at this part of the level gets annoying at least. There we go. Could have just jumped on this stra sponge straight away, but ah. Uh. Hang on. There we go. Irritating camera rotation, and that cannon is gonna get on my that, that. I swear to God, I hate them so much. They get so much on my nerves. Oh god. Buzz, just get on the sponge. Don't care how strange that sounds, just do as I say. That's why I dislike those cannons and I really look forward to hitting the red switch and blasting them. Because you just I just don't like them. I could honestly swear I'm getting that really close. Don't know what its problem is. Oh, this isn't fair. <laughs> it's like so close to actually going right and it's just not going right. When I figure out what's going wrong, it's never going to go right. I can't see what I'm doing wrong. Pull back, turn round. Okay, this isn't happening for me, is it? You gotta be kidding me! 
you're just there. The second I turn round, you're just there. That's got to be one of the most irritating things that's ever happened. Hang on, jump. This way. Remember I did this earlier quite quite successfully. I mean obviously I um you get it wrong a few times or so, but you know you, you get it right eventually. It doesn't just keep going wrong time and time again. I feel like that's what's happening here. No time to lose. You're quite correct, Buzz. There we go, okay, you kinda jump from the middle of the sponge. The button. Boom. Okay. That's you, God. I find that quite satisfying. Okay, what's next? Okay, we got that, we got that. Now, the little critter is the other thing. He's all the way over there. I mean, how many more times are you going to jump back and forth on these sponges? This is just such a, this is just such a weird and strange... Well, not weird. It's such an irritating level. You know, you jump on the sponges to get on the shelves. You back, jump back on the sponges to get up here. And then you got to go on the sponges again to um to get over there but you can kind of take more your time now because the cannon's gone assuming that you hit the red button if you if you're doing this game yourself assuming you hit the red button uh turn it around so you can kind of really think and plan your way through here more there you go and there you go we get the critter so that's that's that done and I can't think of it. I know there's something else I haven't done. I know I've done the train level. I know I got the big boss. Um, I know I got the uh, whole horseshoe horseshoes. That was it. Ah, yes. Okay, I didn't count the horseshoes. Forgot about the horseshoes. So boss level, uh, train. So boss, train, horseshoe, pig. Done the pig. And now we take the uh, the cretins to Jesse, and then that is it. Um, you have to. You've got to remember sometimes. I feel like you got to remember, no matter how old a game is, no matter where it's from, you know, I mean, this game, this game, the PlayStation 1, which is where I'm actually playing this, um, with, uh, original, with PlayStation 1 controller, it's, it's amazing, and it's just like, no matter how old it gets, it'll always be this, it'll always be just as irritating, just as challenging, just as, if you don't do it in the right way, like any game, it's going to go wrong, and you're going to end up, I suppose some people, that are not so much me with well not right now anyway um not in the moment <laughs> you kind of want to end up putting the controller through the nearest window although i don't think the cord would stretch but yeah okay uh that's the end of that then that's the final token i believe and collect and keep on playing well i don't think there's anything else to keep on playing for so i know i've got another life and that's actually a thing i just figured if you wanted um, this would actually be a good level to collect lives on, like like with many levels, like in every game. Uh, I know Crash Bandicoot's one of them. Um, I was playing that recently on my Switch, which is actually kind of really good. Uh, remastered for it, it is. And I realised there's a good way to get levels. A good way to get lives, sorry. Um, you just keep uh, defeating a load of the bats that come out. They just constantly respawn. You just continuously collect dapples and it continuously gives you lives when you get 100. And the same thing could be used here, if you just came in and out of the level and used the shield to get the life out of the fireplace, you could have loads of lives. Um, you can kind of, you know, use the level to your advantage. Exploit it is one word, I guess. To infinity and beyond! So as Buzz said, to infinity and beyond, so we get out of here. So that should be all five tokens. Pig. Cretins, race, uh, secret token, and boss guy. And then we do finish with that now. And always make sure to save. I think the only game I currently know of that still um, sort of gives you a chance to all gives you a chance to turn auto save on and off and save it yourself manually. I uh, know there's others, but I just I can't. I can't, don't know them now. Um, is GTA 5 story mode? 
obviously online is a different thing, you know, it just does it automatically. Just always does it automatically, pops up in the bottom left hand corner, you know, game saved, game saved, game saved. Until it says can't connect to Rockstar server, that's annoying. Um Yeah, I think I think yeah, that's the only game I know of that actually does that. I think others do. I think uh, maybe uh, what is it now? The uh, Red Fraction Armageddon and Red Fraction, uh, Red Fraction Gorilla or Red Fraction or Red Gorilla Fraction or whatever way that is. I always forgot which way that round that actually went. Yeah, thanks for watching. Twitchy Top Cat or Rad Random Gaming. Twitchy is me on Twitch, as you might be able to tell. Rad Randoms Gaming on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Again, if you'd like to check out all the other videos, such as I mentioned my Hornby Transit videos, please go ahead and do so. I'll try and leave links in the description for all that. And make sure everyone is you're staying safe, looking after yourselves, and as well trying to, you know, enjoy yourself in, in the way that everyone is right now given given the current situation. Rad will see you next time. Uh, sorry about the long wait for the video, but I'm sure we can all understand that, you know, it's it's just kind of hard. Plus, I've been distracted recently by by War Thunder, uh, various other games, TV shows. If we're if anyone's watching The Mandalorian, well, I'm distracted by that as well. Um, also distracted by an old and favourite cartoon of mine. I swear to God, it's it's an old favourite of mine. Recess. If you know Recess, well, then you'll know why I'm distracted by it. It's just an old favourite of mine from the 90s. I'm I'm a 90s 90s kid. And so I'm very much like, I, I don't know, I just sort of sit there and watch a cartoon. But to me, think about it. What's the difference between watching that and watching Family Guy or even American Dad? It's an animated thing. It's an animated uh, program. Um, is it the only difference, say, between the two? Say, Recess and Family Guy or Recess and American Dad or Recess and The Simpsons is perhaps you'll have more adult content. You know, different words will be used, different things will be said. You know, one is aimed at kids, the other one is not so much. But that doesn't mean kids probably don't watch it today. Thanks for watching. Rad is out of here. Until next time, people. Until next time.